Hello and welcome to the Get Creative Podcast, the podcast for creatives by creatives. I'm Evan Schmidt, and my guest today is Alicia Panda. She's the founder of Style 412, a community-based initiative connecting the fashion industry in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. All right, Alicia, thanks for coming on the show today. So tell the audio events a little bit about you. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Um, as you said, my name's Alicia. I go by Alicia Panda, and I come from the world of branding and fashion. Um, yeah. Nice. So those two, obviously, they click well together, at least from my perspective. So what's something really important that you've learned in your time? So with Style 412, which has kind of been um, this passion project that I've been doing for the past year, um, it's a 12-month discussion series that has been intended to audit the Pittsburgh fashion industry. And I couldn't be able to describe fully how much, um, I don't know, how many surprises I've had through just listening and kind of keeping my ear to the ground of what the Pittsburgh community has been saying this past year. But um, I think the number one thing that we took away from it is the value of connection, Um, especially within this industry, this fashion industry that's not until recently come to light in Pittsburgh, um, where, you know, people want to learn about who else is out there in the industry. They want to know what other resources are available to them. Um, And thus, you know, it's kind of been important to come together and start this conversation. Interesting. So, yeah, the, it seems like very localized and it's very like it, it seems like people need to pull from resources like you know, uh, supplies or the organic raw materials. And then, you know, people, they got to put it on. (laughs) I have a very rudimentary view of fashion, but, um, but the connection totally makes sense of just, it seems like it could easily be a fragmented industry and it seems like you're trying to bring it together. Well, yeah. I mean, what, what fashion means to me, um, anyways, I guess is more of a lifestyle approach. Um, as you'll notice from, you know, Style 412, I chose to move away from the word fashion because I think that a lot of people have um, a different impression of that. Um, You know, their minds often go towards the runway and the glamorous, um, you know, red carpet kind of nature that the fashion industry traditionally has held. Um, But being from Pittsburgh and, you know, not aspiring to be anything like the New York fashion industry or LA fashion industry, I chose the word style because, you know, I think it means something a lot more personal to people. It allows people to um, have a personal style to the way that they present themselves every day. And that to me is more of a lifestyle that, quite frankly, you know, I feel we're, we're missing a little bit here in Pittsburgh. Nice. So, uh, so what are you working on right now? What would you like to pitch? Well, I think Style 412 is the main pitch here today. Um, as far as where it's going, well, no, let's start with where it's been and what it's been doing. Because I think the discussion series have been a really important part of, um, you know, our mission. And that's to somewhat evolve and generate more awareness for what's happening here in Pittsburgh, the talent that already exists. So, you know, like you said, there are a lot of different moving parts of the fashion industry. It's not just um, designers, but there's business owners, there's um, the specific resources that lend itself to the fashion industry, like photographers, makeup and hair artists, models, talent specialists, like it's this huge thing that I think people forget sometimes, you know, it's not just about the designers. I mean, they're a huge part of it, but it's a whole industry and um, industries need a lot of resources to be able to evolve. Um, So yeah, you know, I think Style 412 and what it's been doing starting this conversation about how to proceed has been really important. Um, At the end of the discussion series, which was last May, or no, this May, so 
it started May 2016, and it just recently ended in May. We had a retrospective event kind of celebrating and recapping what happened in the form of an annual report and um, elected a council to kind of move the conversation forward and to figure out future initiatives. Nice. And where can people find that report and more info on yeah, it? Yeah. So here I have a link. It's a little bit longer than I want it to be, but we published it in the form of an online magazine. It's issue.com backslash style 412 backslash docs backslash annual report. Or you can go to the website. It's a lot more simple. It's style 412.com in which you can find a link to the annual report. And I'll be sure to put both in the show notes. So Alicia, thanks for coming on the show today, sharing some um, some new frontier for this show as far as uh, topic of discussion and getting creative with me. Yeah, thank you. That's it for another episode of Get Creative. You can find more information about my guest in the show notes. Be sure to subscribe so that you get the next episode in your sleep. And please give the show a review. For more information about me, go to evanschmidt.com, follow me on Twitter and LinkedIn, and watch my vlog on YouTube where I share lessons that I've learned. Thank you for listening. Now go get creative.